Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome couples travel trailer that has an outside kitchen and a very modern looking interior. This is a 2022 Crossroads Sunset Trail Model 253RB. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Sunset Trail and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I'm super excited to be introducing you guys to the Sunset Trail. We haven't had one of these on the show, so I'm really excited. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, you're not Will. Hey guys. You're Jen, Will's wife. Yes. How's it going? It's going great. We're, we're here at RV1 in Charlotte, North Carolina today. Yes, phone number 704-743-5280. Yeah, and it's been so nice here. The, the GM and just everyone here is so welcoming. They got a lot of units, a lot of variety. So we're excited to be here and the weather is perfect. The weather is perfect. No AC on this unit, hey, not even need needed. <laughs> yes. Jen, I'm really excited. Let's take a look at this Sunset Trail. Cool. Model is 253RB. The actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this travel trailer is 30 feet. The dry weight, Jen, is 5,531 pounds. And we don't know the hitch weight, but we're gonna have all the specs right there on the screen so everybody can see it. Always remember, you wanna use weight distribution bars. Right here, we do have a nice power tongue jack here. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go there. It's a very nice higher-end unit. Uh, we do have the fiberglass front cap. It is aluminum framing with the fiberglass sides. Very, very nice. And because it's crossroads, it does have the three-year warranty on it. Yes. Coming on down the side here, we do have nice slam latch storage. Okay, wow. Wow, look at that. very nice. Very, very nice. For this size uh, travel trailer, that's nice. Yes, and it is the Lippard slam latch doors. Uh, we're a huge fan of Lippard and just so much better than the twisty doors you know what i'm oh, saying yeah. um coming on down the side here i love how it's white on white they kept the diamond plate all uh, white as yes. well uh it's just good looking and right there you can see that it does have the electric stabilizing jacks coming on down the side here jen we do have a huge power awning with led lights nice big grab handle here and lipper component solid steps which i love so check this out for 2022, it's Crossroads' 25th anniversary. Congratulations. Happy um, birthday. Happy, <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> uh, we do have the Camp Easy package, the Extreme Weather package, okay? And then right here, Aww. Psh, America. America. Oh, we messed that up. Let's do oh, it again. Well. Ready? Psh, America. America. Heck yeah. This is a beer opener, and it's also Aww. a place for you to leash up your dog. Look, you got a paw and you got a dog boat. Yes, I love it. I mean, look at these tires, Jen. They're the high specs. I love those. They're the ST205-75R14. Very nice. And you do have the Dexter axles there. Right here, you do have your satellite battery um, power hookup if you do want to have a TV on the outside. And you have speakers for the outside. Cool. Right here is your water heater. Uh, I wish that they painted it white so yeah. it just blended in more. I mean, it helps you have black in the decals, but still. Yeah. And then look at this outside kitchen. You never get these in couples travel trailers. Yeah. Right there, you got storage there. Nice hot point refrigerator. Okay. Very nice. Capital grill. Nice. Very nice. And then check out that sink, Jen. That's a sink that's actually plumbed through. Yeah. Love well, that's that. It's a decent size for that outdoor, outdoor Absolutely. kitchen. And then coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Oh man, no ladder to get up on the roof. Womp womp. Which is a little weird because that Sunset Trail has a ladder to get up on the roof. Hmm. So I wonder why there's not one, maybe the floor plan design. Uh, it is prepped for the Furion backup camera. And right there you do have a spray port and everything. That's very weird. Yeah, I think it'd be like a standard thing. Yeah. All uh, right there, 30 amp. Oh, you know what? I bet you that's a 2021. 
And since oh. this is 2022, I know a lot of manufacturers are going away from stuff just because they can't get stuff. Yeah. I'm not saying that is the reason why. I'm just Could assuming. Um, black, there's, there's where you dump your black and gray tank underneath there as well. 30 amp, one AC unit and everything. I wish they had continued the white on the side of the slides, but. Yeah, you know, nobody's, well, no. Well, I just know, I, I noticed I like. I literally you, just said, yeah, it. nobody's doing that. And, yeah. and there's Somebody one right is. there, yeah. Yeah, they could have, for sure. And then right here, Andre. Wow. Right here, Jen. It's the other side of the storage. City water connection, black tank flush, potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Very nice. Well, Jen, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Jen, after you. Thank you. All right. Wow. Already coming in very bright, very nice light wood cabinetry. Nice backsplash. And then we have a rear bathroom. Wow, that's kind of unique, this wood wall. Radius shower, got a booth dinette. Yes. Theater seating and then your front bedroom up there. And Jen, we're gonna wow. finish with that rear bath. Yes. But look at this master bedroom. <gasps> the doorway size. Love the double door. This is still a small travel trailer, so yeah. it gives it that open concept. Mm -hmm. But Jen, do you notice what's unique about this? Uh, no. King size bed. Oh, okay, yeah. In a travel trailer that's very unique and hard to find. Yeah, that's nice. Right there, we do got some storage. See, like, this is, like, like Will and I were just telling people on our live that we're looking for, like, a travel trailer next, but smaller. And this is kind of the size that that would work for us. It's the Sunset Trail, Jen. Yep. Um, you got your little cubbies right there. Yep. And the king bed would work for somebody like Will. Yeah, Nice exactly. little light and the blue lights and everything. Mm -hmm. And then show that storage for us. Yeah, I got some closet hanging storage and then more storage up here. Okay, very unique. It is prepped for the second air conditioning unit. Um, but it would still be 30 amp. It's kind of weird. I don't know how they're doing that. What it, I guess you just couldn't run both at the same time. Maybe, yeah. Like or, at or, night, you just run this one and turn the other one Or off. maybe it's like a lower efficiency air conditioning maybe, unit. Maybe, yeah. I'm not sure. Looks like you got a TV mounting area over there. You sure do. And then right here. Very nice. Very nice storage underneath yeah. the bed. And then there is your pet station for your uh, dog bowls. Cool. It's kind of silly though. My dog bowl isn't in the bedroom. <laughs> My dog was on a throne. <laughs> yes. And then over here in the living room area, first and foremost, look at this. Storage behind the entertainment center. I That's love that. Crazy amount of storage in here. Very high ceilings, Jen. Yeah. Look at this. I mean, I can barely touch that radius roof. Very nice. And then look at this. Oh man, that's nice. Nice theater seats, reclining seats directly across from the entertainment center. No storage above, which is unique, but you do have these great big windows. Mm -hmm. How do you like the valances, Jen? They're like wood valances. Um, I kind of wish that they were like as light as the wood in the kitchen, but they're not bad. Oh, okay. Oh, this part is dark and that yeah, part Yeah, I kind of like the wood that they're using for the kitchen and like this space, but it's not too bad. Okay, okay. It gives a variety, I guess. And then directly across, <laughs> again, this entertainment center. Yes. Uh, storage. Notice the heat ducts coming in through the side and nice. not in through the uh, floor. Which is great for pets. It is. It is. Nice storage there and everything. And then all uh, right over here, Jen. Um, <laughs> we're going to tune that over. Uh, right over here. What are we recording for? We are recording for our vlog, Will and Jen. So if you guys don't follow us, Hey, if you, if you guys don't follow us yet, um, we just, we, we do vlogs over there documenting our travels and then times when we're meeting up with Matt and recording and stuff. So we'll put a link to our channel up there if you want to take a look at our videos. Jen, comfortable dinette. Does drop down to make a bed, but look, more importantly, look at this, um, the table. Yes, that's what, so what cool. What do you, what do you? It's live edge look. I mean, it's not actual live edge, but it, it creates a look and it's really nice. Yeah. But even more than that, what I'm noticing is how much, like the depth of the seats. Right, right, for sure. Yeah, you know? no, it's one of those things that they definitely made everything a little oversized, oversized bathroom, yeah. oversized dinette, you know, very, very nice. Like I feel like Will gets to here comfortably, which is Absolutely. cool. Absolutely. 
Well, Jen, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this unit here is $44,493. Jen, that is MSRP. Sale price, they have a fantastic sale price on it, but we can't tell you because it is a current model year. But if you are interested, this unit is at RV1 in Charlotte. We have a link down to RV1's website down in the description below. Also, their phone number is 704-743-5280. Big shout out to them, their whole team here for giving us a warm welcome. We, you know, yes. it's hard. You guys might not, it's hard going to stores that we don't know. So we appreciate the warm welcome. Oh yes. It give them so a call, nice. let them know you saw it on Matt's RV reviews and they're gonna give you a fantastic deal. Cool. So moving on to the kitchen here, I'll start with this fridge. Um, again, again so it's a Norcold brand. Is yes. Is this a compressor fridge? No, that's uh, well, yes. No, no, it <laughs> oh, is. Oh, it is a it compressor is. fridge. Okay, so decent size, I think, for the, the size travel trailer. For sure. You've got your freezer space up there. Yes. And then over here we have um, just a regular microwave, not okay. a convection. Okay. It's, you know, on the small side, but not too bad. And then we have a three burner cooktop. This is a Greystone cooktop. Yes. And so that's nice. Fold up top and then your oven space there. Very nice. And you got lights on the front. Ooh, it lights up blue. And I have to point out this backsplash. Talk to this me. This is beautiful. So this looks like a like for each wall, it's like a one piece. Okay. Um, so you can tell it's like very lightweight, but when you come in, it has like a much higher end look. Um, but yeah. it's still lightweight. So um, that's very nice. And then we have some tons of storage that goes back there. Okay. Some storage here. Very nice. We have a nice big kitchen, farm, or like a, not a farmhouse sink, but it, just a nice big stainless steel sink. And then a pull down faucet. And then a little bit more, actually quite a bit of storage down there. So not like bad. pots and pans could go down there and everything. Very nice. Oh, and then, oh, we have a little, that's always nice. People always like this, the little draining station. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Cool. It's now time for the shower test. We don't need to call Bill out here because it is a radius shower and it's not going to pass. Do you know why, Jen? Because radius showers never pass. It's illegal. <laughs> Sorry, it's illegal. Radius. Sorry, radius shower company. We don't <laughs> like them. Radius shower, um, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on this in a little bit. Uh, but we do have very nice storage back here in the bathroom. What Matt says about the radius shower is don't like you, never have liked you, never will like you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, and then if you show the uh, medicine cabinet. Oh, Sorry, Jen. Oh, you're good. Yeah, so we have a mirror here. Some okay. storage space, one bowl sink, and then some more storage space down there. And then we have actually, I think this, wow. Holy smokes. Crap. That's a lot of storage back there. I mean, I feel like you could, this is, could be multi-purpose, like maybe some clothes stuff could go in here because that's a lot of bathroom storage space. It sure is. I almost, oh, we'll get to that. We'll get to likes and dislikes. Yeah, I know, right? If you want to stand in the shower for me. It's now time for the toilet. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. What? It's plastic. Oh no. The nerve. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I mean, this is a fantastic travel trailer. I mean, you know, believe it or not, like, I I'll be honest with you. I thought Sunset Trail, I'm like, eh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I've never, nice. I've never been in one. It's actually very nice and I love most things about it. I hate that it has this plastic toilet. Yeah. Well, Jen. I mean, well, what about, you didn't tell about the position. Oh. I well, think position is pretty good, though. Position was perfect. Yeah, you get a nice spread in the yeah, corner. Yeah, no, no. That, it's just the plastic. That's what makes it even more disappointing. Yeah. Was that it was a prime poop position, but it was plastic. You missed one pee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. That's the Sunset Trail. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about it and three things we dislike about it. Jen, what do we do first? Um, let's do the three things that we like. Okay. Um, first thing I love, I love these theater seats. Yeah. Very comfortable, very nice, good position. I love how it's directly across from the entertainment center. It's a very, very nice feature and I love that. That is number one. Jen, number two? So number two is kind of like a all-in-one, just the interior design choices in here are yeah. excellent. Yeah, I mean, look at this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, but that looks great. The kitchen, I'm loving this light wood with the white countertops. 
And this where I, I do think application could be a little bit better, but the it's a it's nice because it's lightweight. It's you know it's a small lightweight travel trailer, and that when you come in, that's just like a statement, and it has it gives it a much more high end look, and it's just very light and bright in here. So I love it. So I like the interior design overall. For sure. That's number two, and then number three, Jen. I love how it has a king size bed, and I love this door opening mm -hmm. again. You know, this is smaller, you know, it's a big trailer, but it's still a smaller trailer. So to have the privacy when you want it, but the open air concept, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's very, very nice. Yeah, it feels very open in here overall. Great, so that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Uh, Jen, do you want to go first? Yes, I'll, I'll go first. Okay. Talk to me. So first we're going to go back to the bathroom. Okay. So... Um, obviously Matt doesn't like the radius shower. Yeah, I'll talk to I, Matt next. I, you know, this seems like unnecessary amount of storage in the bathroom. Okay. I feel like it would have been nicer. I mean, if you look at this wall, I mean, look how deep this is. Right. And how much bigger the bathroom could have been. Um, if, if you didn't have, and I think like, I, it, you would have, it would have been like, this, this doesn't come out as far. And then you probably could have like made like rearrange it so you could have gotten a, a rectangular shower yeah in it. yeah for sure so. well so the reason why is because it does have the outside kitchen oh that's right but that's jen's number one my number two is the fact that it does have the plastic toilet 100 should have been porcelain yeah but jen you're 100 right um with the radius shower and the rectangle shower like you could have had that you could have still had a rectangular shower we don't need this yeah this is in my way 253 rb rear bathroom okay mm -hmm. this bathroom is huge and the fact that they still gave you a radius shower i am not a fan of that yeah. at all yep so that's number two see you have a number three i have no strings to hold me down i don't have a number three do you so, I mean, I can be petty. I can, no, I can give it. Okay, you got a number three? Cool. So I think Thanks, a number Jen. three, I mean, and I didn't expect that much more in like a small travel trailer, but it is a small kitchen. I mean, yeah, you don't have a no lot doubt. of counter space going on. You I mean, much, little to none. I mean, yeah, because I mean, like that's in like an awkward place. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're cooking on the stove top, you pretty much have to like have the sink covers on to have counter space or sit at the table. So. Right, no, no countertop extension. No, I 100% concur. Yeah. And it's one of those things like, Again, if they had a kick-ass, awesome bathroom, you know, it's okay. Yeah, pros but, and cons. But, like, to still have the weak bathroom. But, at the same time, respectively, you do have the outside kitchen. Yes. So, it's a trade-off. Right. Know? Like, maybe this is for the couple that's cooking outside more. Yeah. So. Yeah, for sure. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. That's the Crossroads Sunset Trail. A uh, big shout-out to RV1 of Charlotte. 704-743-5280. Thank you so much for having us here today. Yes, thank we you. We really appreciate your North Carolina hospitality, North Kakalaki. <laughs> and uh, if you guys are interested, give them a call. Make sure you tell them that you've seen all Matt's RV reviews. Yes. Jen, is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah, thanks so much for having me on the show. I'm filling in for Will today because, you know, he just... We just recovered from COVID, so he's he, we kind of have to alternate so he can rest a little bit. So thank you guys for having me on here. And I did want to mention, if you haven't heard yet, we do have a Patreon that we started when we went independent. Mm, good, and good. And Will is really trying to post a lot of behind the scenes content. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, you know, when we record and we're and and, and kind of like behind the scenes of what's going on, what we're doing on a regular basis, um, we'll put a link in the description so you can check that out. And it, it's te what ten dollars a month. It's the best way to support the show. Yeah. Yeah, it's the best way to support the show yep. and it gives behind the scenes content but either way just thank you guys so much for watching the videos and liking and subscribing so thank you thank you absolutely everybody so much make sure you leave a comment below let us know three things you like three things you don't like smash that thumbs up button and subscribe and jen we'll see, see you, you next time